I've caught several fish out of this area before. So I know that they like, oh, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, hey guys, Diesel does fishing back here with another video. Finally, I know it's been quite a while. I was uploading a lot of videos over the past couple of weeks and then I went and bought a house and that takes up all your time. More on that later. Today's challenge is the one rod, one reel, one hour challenge. Don't have a whole lot of time to fish today. I know that's a, 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 something that's true for a lot of fishermen. You just don't have time to get out and fish for four, five, ten hours. Well, that is the challenge. More on this here in just a second. But today's arsenal is the Fenwick Eagle six foot six medium light action rod with a Daiwa Revros LT2500 reel. This is my trout setup. This is a very light setup. I don't throw it very often, but if you need to finesse things down kind of the way I need to do it right now with the way this weather has been, it's kind of saucy. Starting things off first with a beetle spin. This thing is absolute money. Don't sleep on the beetle spin just because it's less than a dollar at your local Walmart. This is a fish catching machine, especially in these conditions where it's kind of cloudy, kind of overcast, a little bit cool, should be money. Now I told you about this box. This is my light gear box. We're gonna throw maybe a couple things out of here today. Definitely not everything, but I've got plenty of beetle spin grub colors. I've got a couple of crankbaits, a micro craw and a micro grasshopper. We got some inline spinners. Those things are always money. We got a micro frog, some micro poppers, Ooh, even some micro swim baits. I'm going to pop you over on the chesty, set the timer for one hour, because after that, I got to go to work. <laughs> I got to get out of here. But let's throw around for about an hour and see what we can get. Setting our timer for one hour. Go. If you don't know and love and fish the beetle spin, I don't know what to do for you. Look at that. I love this rod. I love this reel. It's so smooth. It casts so far. Just a little flick of the wrist and this thing went all the way across this pond. I don't know where you're fishing, but if you're in South Carolina, North Carolina, anywhere around here, you know that this weather has been just all over the place and completely insane. We've had 70s and 80s in March. We've had 60s, 50s, even 40s at night, there's spots around here where these bass should have been done spawning already, and they haven't even started bedding yet. And it's middle of May. My logic with, uh, with this particular setup today, because I don't fish a ton of spinning gear on this channel, but my logic today with bringing this lightweight setup is that the weather being as just absolutely bonkers as it's been, it's time to finesse, it's time to downsize give a much smaller presentation that these less aggressive bass are not gonna be scared away by I gotta say a huge thank you shout out to all my new subscribers here on YouTube my goal for the past four months has been to hit 300 subscribers by mid-may which would be just about a year after starting this channel and my birthday and you guys have greatly exceeded that 313 I picked up a whole bunch a flurry of new subs and I can't say thank you to you guys enough we're not stopping uh-uh our goal now is to hit 500 by the end of 2020 that's the goal and if you want to be a part of that if you want to help out and help me reach it then why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button it's down in the lower right hand corner of this video it costs you nothing and you get a chance to uh to, to be here on the ground floor man as this thing is growing so fast so much faster than i ever thought it would 500 by the end of 2020 that's the new goal and of course the goal is just to keep putting out killer fishing videos killer content we got so much stuff on the way by the way just got accepted to join the Wu tungsten pro staff don't know that we're gonna have a chance to throw any of their gear today that's gonna be coming in a in a video really soon I can promise you that but I can go ahead and tell you that if you want 10% off of your first order from Wu tungsten just use code Wu friends 10 that's good for 10% off your first order from Wu Tungsten. What makes Wu Tungsten gear so special is A, it never chips. B, they've got the weight stamped right there on the side of the bullet weight. No more guessing, no more kind of sifting and saying, hmm, maybe this will work, maybe it won't. It's got the weight right there on the side. Plus, they have some really cool stuff like t-shirts and stickers and fishing shirts. 
you know, sun shirts keep, uh, keep you from getting skin cancer. It's not good. You don't want to get that. Um, so I'm really excited to have joined their team. And of course, I will be doing a lot of videos with their gear over the summer. Got my first shipment in on the day that I bought a house. So you know what? It was a good day. If you're a homeowner, you know that it takes up a lot of your time, especially at first. So uh, I'm gonna keep trying to get out at least one video a week. I can promise you that one video a week. We're just having to do so much work to the house that it's making things really tough to get out and film and edit and work on the house. But that should be slowing down here in the next two weeks or so as we kind of get things set up the way that we want. So just hang in there, I promise bunch of content, a bunch of videos are coming. Oh no, it's just hit a big patch of grass. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Heart was jumping out of the chest. You know, when you're fishing these light, medium light, medium action combos, it feels like you're hooking into a hog every fish you catch. And honestly, I love that feeling. I don't care how big the fish is. I like catching fish regardless but it's an extra little bonus when you're throwing lightweight gear is just everything feels huge. One of the things with this challenge is, you know, I've only got an hour and that's it. After an hour, I have to go. So if we're getting, uh, you know, no bites for 15 minutes, we're making a switch. You know, we got to throw something else and see if the fish want to hit something else. So we're going to move on to something else. It's uh, uh, probably one of those little micro crankbaits but we're gonna give one of those a shot. So I'm gonna make a switch, be right back with you. And we're back, throwing the Rebel Wee Cricket. This thing here has been a pass catching machine for me in the past. As a matter of fact, I did a video last summer where I absolutely crushed with this tiny little crankbait. And it's hard to throw, I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, it's really difficult to throw, even on, even on this medium light action rod. It's not the easiest lure. However, however, bass can't resist it. Ow! And it's got sharp hooks. Can confirm. So to save you from actually having to watch it, I got no bites on this micro crankbait or a mini swim bait, which I think is actually part of an umbrella rig. I just wanted to try it. I moved to a pond across the street adjacent to this one, tied on an inline spinner with a barrel swivel, a bait that I have a lot of confidence in, and well, things went like this. If you're a fan of this channel, you know where I'm at. There is a pond just across the street from the one we were just at. Here's pond number one. Over there's pond number two. And here is our new setup. Inline spinner, yellow with a little gold blade. It's kind of an old one, man. This might be an antique spinner, inline spinner, but we threw on a little snap swivel here because that will help with the line twist. Uh, that's one thing about inline spinners is they have a tendency to twist and roll. And that's why you throw on a little snap swivel that will help uh, mitigate that. Plus a lot of inline spinners are just really lightweight. So it helps with castability to throw a little bit of extra weight on there. I know a couple of fishing YouTubers who even throw on, you know, snap swivels on just about everything they throw because it helps them change out lures a lot faster. It's uh, my boy Weston Smith. He does that. And a lot of people, I think, give him a lot of crap for it. Um, but, uh, you know, sometimes you, you just got to. It helps you switch things out a lot faster. If you're fishing on a truncated timetable like we are in this particular video, then, hey, why not? Unique features that we've got in this pond. We've got intake pipe here. We got outflow pipe there. That flows back and forth between these two ponds. It looks like everything is being dragged that way into the other pond. And then we've got a drain system over there on the bank to the right as well. So we got a lot of unique features in this spot. I've caught several fish out of this area before. So I know that they like, oh, there we go. Haha. <laughs> There you go, dude. <laughs> Not a big one. I was even, I thought I was fouled up and I was fouled up actually. And then he comes along and just hits it, man. They can't resist these inline spinners. There's something about them. Bass, crappy. They just can't lay off. OK, 
Okay, there we go. First fish in, well, probably two weeks. So, right on. Let's get a little picture of you for Instagram. And let's get you back in. Walk right out here gently onto this pipe. Toss you back in because we don't want to alert everyone else of our presence. Later, dude. Tell you what, man. Inline spinners just absolutely crush. If you're having a bad day and you just want to catch some fish, go to the shallows, throw an inline spinner. Weren't expecting this rain today. This is kind of wild. You know, we had 71 degrees and kind of cloudy today as the forecast. Not expecting any rain. And then, you know, here we go. We got it. Just a light drizzle. Just in case this does get heavier, we need to go close up the top on the Rubicon. Flip, flip, strip, strip. The human body is waterproof. The electronics in my CB are not. The conditions are just about ideal right now for throwing a spinnerbait. A little bit of wind. Puts a little chop on the water. Overcast. Should be able to key in on this flash really nicely. Guys, if we had more time, I'd certainly get over and fish the other side of this pond. You know, you got that tree sticking out of the water over there. We just don't have a lot of time. You know, we got 10 minutes left and not lying, it's a, it's a minute walk around this pond. So we don't want to waste any of it. You know, for a quick one hour challenge, I think it's gone pretty well. Trying to key in on what the fish want in an hour, it's hard, it's hard. Can't wait this summer to get out and do some trout fishing on this rod though. So excited, it is purpose bought for that reason. All right, folks, what have we learned? Well, that that Rebel Wee Cricket is probably crap without a barrel swivel on it. We also learned that the little micro swim bait, also crap. But we also learned that you can go out and fish with only an hour and catch fish. It's really not hard, you know? Go out there with a bait that you are super confident in with one rod and just cast around for about an hour. We got that one bass and that's, you know, that's that's good for this video. In only an hour to figure them out a little bit and catch one bass, it's not a bad thing. So definitely gonna get out and do these challenges. Again, the one rod, one reel, one hour challenge. You're gonna be seeing more of these videos on the channel in the future, I promise. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification right next to it. Trying to reach 500 subscribers by the end of 2020. Back with another video soon here on Diesel Does Fishing. Are you listening?